So let us come back and do the next question. We've already written one order, isn't it? In uh, your acidity, uh, listen. There we've written one order. What did we write, remember? There we've written alcohols, uh, sorry, your carboxylic acids are more acidic than phenol, right? First comes alcohol, then comes water, then comes phenols, and then comes acids, right? The strongest is your mineral acid. That is accepted. So now I have to prove why are carboxylic acids more acidic than phenol? When such questions are given to you between comparative study try to make or divide the page into two right this is easy for you to explain now you have to prove that carboxylic acid is more acidic than phenol the last would be your reason leave one place for reason and put that in a box okay so let me put that in a box that's easy okay now let me start explaining the answer so whenever you're writing so first this this particular column is for carboxylic acids and this particular column is for phenol now, when, when do we prove something is an acid? Whenever we dissolve it in water, if it is dissociating or if it is giving out H plus ion, then I call it as an acid. Simple logic. Correct? Now, even uh, you can prove that in terms of hydronium ion also H3O plus. Let us see how can we dissociate and then explain. First, I am going to take a carboxylic acid, as I said, dissolve it in water. When you are dissolving it in water, this is going to dissociate into minus plus H3O plus hydronium ion. So let us write what is this? This is hydronium ion <coughs> and this is your carboxylate ion. Carboxylate ion. Done. Right. Now let us come back and see. Because it is uh, releasing hydronium ion, I can say it is acidic. Let us write for phenol. When I take phenol crystals and when I dissolve it in water, this also is going to form two ions. One is your phenoxide ion so what is this this is carboxylate ion this is phenoxide ion and what else is left h3o plus again this also has released hydronium ion okay now how should i hydronium ion now how should i decide when both are releasing hydronium ion the next concept which differentiates both of them is your resonance concept let me write this as a let me write this as b right this also shows resonance that also shows resonance okay that also will show r c <coughs> o o right so what am i going to do now i'm going to show the charge dispersion the charge is dispersed between two i'm just putting a dotted line showing that double bond shifts here and single bond uh, double and single shifting right here what will happen again i'm showing the charge separation here how am i showing i'm going to show like this and show like this show a dispersion or delocalization of pi electrons now again this also has shown resonance and then what concept should i do this is where your answer lies here what happened the negative charge is delocalized or dispersed between two oxygen atoms first important thing what should you write negative charge is dispersed between bw means between two oxygen atoms when it is dispersed between two oxygen atoms and the two electronegative oxygen atoms what happens there is one hydrogen here and here isn't it right when it is dispersed or when it is trying to pull that uh, electron or that particular charge there is difference in electronegativity negative and positive it can easily release that h plus ion when something is releasing h plus isn't it acidic it is acidic so negative uh, charge is dispersed between two oxygen atoms and release of and release of H plus is easy. Done. Let me write for phenols. Here, what happened? Where is electronegative? Uh, listen, it is moving around it. It is not dispersed clearly. What happened to the negative charge? It's getting distributed inside the benzene ring. It is not loosely or it is not free as compared to carboxylate ion. So, write down negative charge is not. <coughs> dispersed as in carboxylate ion that's it so what will happen when it is not dispersed it can't release h plus ion so that is your answer so how will i write here more of like dispersal dispersal means shifting or sharing from here till here here till here more of dispersal of negative charge higher or easier it is it it is to release 
H plus. Hence, carboxylic acids are more acidic than phenols. That's it. This is your answer. You have to finish off your answer showing these two. This is your keyword which will be there in the board paper. Right? Right. So let us come back and see one more type of question which is compared. Now it is compared between acid and alcohol. Earlier it was compared between acid and phenol. So let the next possibility of questioning you all is between carboxylic acid and alcohol. So now when I, whenever the such question is given to you, you can answer your question as I said in the first uh, type of question based on three concepts. The first concept which I am going to use here is concept one. I will be explaining based on dispersal of negative charge okay this concept you can also write based on your <coughs> <coughs> sorry concept two you can also answer in terms of <coughs> resonance effect and whenever you are adding resonance effect also add the concept of conjugate base <coughs> When I come to concept 3, I can write in terms of Ka value or Pka value. When we come to the first topic that is dispersion of negative charge. So what do you do? You have to compare both, isn't it? Now pick up an acid here and pick up an alcohol. So when I speak about the dispersion of negative charge, yes, for the acid, basically it is R, C, <coughs> double bond O and single bond and your H is still existing. So when I write this particular thing, how does this look? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, correct? Now when I take this particular oxygen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. First important thing is <coughs> a double bond when it shifts here, automatically the bond from here or the electrons are shared to this particular bond so they forms a resonating structure between both yes so how does this resonating structure look it looks exactly like this how r c o minus and here this becomes plus because it is donated an electron now how are you finding they are find you are finding charge separation between two oxygen atoms isn't it there is a charge separation one here one is getting minus the other is getting plus and there is a charge separation between both when there is charge separation and electronegativity difference automatically the release of h plus becomes easier so it is more stronger so dispersion or dispersal of negative charge hence it is more acidic now when i come back to your alcohol yes alcohol when i see when i'm dissolving this particular thing how does it dissolve it r o minus and h plus are you finding any dispersal of negative charge no dispersal of negative charge hence less acidic right <clears throat> Next, let us come back to the resonance concept. So, the same concept now, as I said, <coughs> whenever you're speaking in terms of resonance concept, try to speak in terms of conjugate base also. That will be easy. How to explain? For an acid, when I take an acid, when I dissolving dissolve it in water, right, it's going to dissociate into RCO minus and H3O plus. Correct. Now let us take babe, an alcohol. When I take an alcohol, when I dissolve it in water, it's going to break up into <coughs> RO minus and H3O plus. H3O plus. Right. So when I have to write this particular thing, now this is a weak acid. The corresponding is a <coughs> strong base. Now this is, if it is weak acid, this will be a weak base. The corresponding would be a strong acid. Yes or no? Let us come back here. Suppose <coughs> if I say it is a weak A acid, then the corresponding of this will be a strong base, conjugate base. If this is a weak acid, automatically this is a weak base. If this is a weak base, the corresponding is a strong base. Yes, this is 
<coughs> this is the conjugate acid base pair here this is the conjugate acid base pair here now observe if the conjugate base is stabilized by resonance the corresponding acid is stronger first important thing what should you write let me write this later you have to write if the conjugate base this is the conjugate base if the conjugate base is stabilized by resonance then the corresponding acid so that is right the corresponding acid is a strong acid that is what you have to remember correct yes here the conjugate base now conjugate base is it stabilized by resonance no right so conjugate base is not stabilized by not stabilized by resonance that is the first concept not stabilized by resonance when it is not stabilized by resonance the corresponding weak acid or the corresponding acid is a weak acid isn't it yes so the acid the corresponding acid is a weak acid that's it i'm trying to reason everything in one particular page now how should you show the resonance you can directly write the resonance hybrid <coughs> of this particular oxygen or if you, if you want to write the resonance of this you can just write like this the resonance hybrid of oxygen and oxygen here there is no resonance subset if you still want to write you can copy the same this one here isn't it you can write the same resonance from here you can write it here okay i'll write here also this is o this is o <coughs> yeah this will be in resonance now suppose if i write the resonance part c single bond o minus and double bond o this is and that is not shown by resonance now next important concept you will write the last concept that is concept now this is your concept one this is your concept two this is your concept three concept three is i asked you to i told you to write based on pka values and or ka values smaller the pka stronger is the acid so write that smaller pka stronger is the acid done so what is the pka of uh, uh, carboxylic acid pk of carboxylic acid is almost you know it is uh, three uh, 6.5 like um, different for different different acids 5.5 or 3.5 also so if i write it is 6.5 pk i'm not giving you a specific thing here <coughs> the pk for alcohol is 16 now see higher isn't it so smaller pk stronger acid higher pk higher pk weak acid that's it this is how you want to reason the whole question very clear concept one concept two concept three